What's going on, boys? Hey, what's up? I got good old Lieutenant Chubb with me. As always, fashionably, fashionably late, Goofy. Shit, I'm never late. I'm always on time. Get out of here, kid. Fashionably on time. What's up? Who we got today? We what got up, Fish RS. Biscuit? What we up, RS? Goofy. What up, Goofy? Going on, Dalton? How's it going? What's up, Dalton? All right, boys. So, goodness gracious, great balls of fire! Okay, so now seriously, let's. I got I got a surprise for you boys tonight. This is this is gonna take a lot of group participation, so be ready, you fucks. Okay, boys. We're going into the database. We're going into workers. Some of you know where I'm going with this already. That's right, boys. The real Budokan is a thing. The real Budokan. Uh, it's, it, well, he's more so just Budokan. We have Budokan. Uh, hashtag BBBK. Hashtag bring back Budokan. We've got Budokan, boys. Okay, now, this is where you guys are going to come in. So for a skill set, I just want some, uh, I want some feedback here on the skills. <coughs> where, uh, where should we put Budokan's rumble at? Let's stay on topic, boys. Budokan. We're doing Budokan stats. Okay, so I feel like, uh... I feel like Budokan is really, really good. No, let, no, guys. Seriously. <laughs> I told you. I told you that's what was going to happen. Let's, I, you did call that, Chubb. This is what I'm saying, guys. We want to make it accurate. The guy, so a lot of you guys probably know who Budokan was. We want it to be accurate. <laughs> no, he's not a good guy yet. Didn't happen yet. Shh. Yeah, he's, not, he's not a good guy now. He's, he's not. This is Budokan, and Budokan broke a man's shoulder. That's right. Budokan's not a good guy. So I'm thinking he's pretty good at re at uh, rumbling. I'm thinking his rumble's probably above average, right? Yeah, I'm thinking he's... Or would you say average? I would say above average, because it takes... It, it's got to take some effort to break a man's shoulder. You know what? That's a good point. So let's go above average rumble... Uh, I've already seen his chain mat and submission skills, and they're really bad. So we're going to put abysmal for that. Okay. His technical okay. is not good. Oh, my God. I saw him wrestle a match against fucking Shawn Michaels in the AWA. Jesus. I, it looked like I thought it was pretty good. It looked like Eva Marie trying to pull off a fucking wrist lock. Come on, dude. Again, I thought it was pretty good. He's such a favorite, I mean, Mike. I'm pretty sure Meltzer gave it at least like three stars. Three negative stars. Uh, Minus high, five stars. Uh, high flying would be abysmal. Oh yeah. His basic psychology, consistency, selling, and safety. Well, he was a jobber, so I put that at average. He's not going to be a jobber here. I'm just saying his selling should be average because he was. That's what he was good at. Yeah. Uh, physical. His athleticism, toughness, stamina, resilience, and power. What do you boys think? <laughs> you see, now we might add, we agree, Goofy, because I feel that Budokan has some potential here. Budokan is a man to be pushed. His psychology consists, see, we have an average. Uh, his physical, athleticism, toughness, stamina, resilience, and power. Uh, RS is strong. Dalton says below average. Goofy says weak. I'm definitely going to say that uh, his physical, I think, is uh, is pretty strong. Because um, if you think about it, you know... He, he did break just, a man's shoulder. He did break a man's shoulder. And, you know, he might be willing to help him work out once he's uh, Do me a favor real quick. Can you yeah. sauce Fish Biscuit the link for the new Budokan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Fish Biscuit. I am about to enlighten you. Okay, so for those of you guys who have no idea what the fuck we're talking about and you're lost, Mike's going to hit you guys with the link in chat. 
Uh, take, you put, take a look at that on the side while you're watching the stream. Possibly the greatest face turn in history, Fish Biscuit. <laughs> uh, it's a better face turn than Big Show's 2.1 turns per year. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm 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 pretty sure Lieutenant Chubb has that on like his favorites. It's absolutely on my favorites list. Okay, so physical we're saying strong? Yeah. Okay. Entertainment. Uh, uh we're gonna go way above average. No way! Come on, dude! Dude, okay, did you hear that fucking microphone promo? Did you hear? the same thing i heard i heard average i heard above average i heard average i'm gonna be real honest i heard above average chat what do you guys think let's hear this <laughs> so far we got uh, an average from goofy although we're on a little bit of a delay so yeah, I see average and very strong, and I'm guessing Fish Biscuits watching the legendary promo of the new Budokan. <laughs> very strong. I like his mustache. <laughs> uh. Okay, so. That's two for very strong, so... <sighs> I don't understand how you guys think his entertainment is very strong. This is not I accurate, boys. That promo. I want to hear, hear from Fish Biscuit. <laughs> Fish Biscuit, what would you say the entertainment level of Budokan is? His mic skills, his charisma, and his acting. I want to hear this. Did you see that turn? <laughs> I want. I want to hear that. I want to hear Fish's opinion. He's a, he just saw it, so. But wait, are we talking to the old fish biscuit or the new fish biscuit? <laughs> I think we're talking to the new fish biscuit. Fish is at a loss for words right now. Oh, what is, what are his choices, Tony? Uh you've got abysmal, very weak, weak. Below average, average, above average, strong, very strong. I got it up on uh, stream for you. Talking to the new fish biscuit. Uh, the man who says he is the new fish biscuit. <laughs> I like my favorite part. It's like, didn't you hurt so and so? Oh, I'm sorry about that. And I'm very sorry <coughs> that that happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, not, that's not a face thing. That's a very passive aggressive apology. Fish says uh, below average. Uh, the king of everything. What have I walked in on? Uh, we're creating uh, the Budokan. We're in the we're in the process of uh, creating Budokan for the database. Okay, so a lot of the uh, so I'm seeing that it's sort of in the middle. Uh, people are saying very strong. Uh, Fish biscuit is saying weak to below average at best. So I'm gonna say average. I would push for above average. That's just me. I'm, I'm going to go average here. Uh, star power, sex appeal, and menace. <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this <clears throat> because his star power and menace we could put it average because he wasn't a movie. That's uh, true. but we're gonna knock that sex appeal down to like zero. That's just not needed. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you see that mustache? All right. So let's let's save that. <laughs> Uh, let's head. Let's head back into the game. Let's let's sim a day ahead. He was in oh. some fight. He was in some fucking movie where he was like a, uh, you know, like the wrestlers in the movie. Jesus, Goofy. Uh, Budokan and Pistol Pete uh, were in Bad Guys, the movie. Okay, so let's uh, let's hire Budokan. Uh, he wants two ninety in appearance. That's kind of high. Let's knock that down a bit. Uh, 
Come on, Budokan. 290. Bam. We got Budokan inbound, boys. It's an exciting it's an exciting day, boys. We're off to a good start already. Like there's no way that this day could get any better. <laughs> I hope he big leagues you. He probably will. Listen, I don't know if you know this, but I am Budokan. I had a match with Shawn Michaels. I had a I had a match with Shawn Michaels in the AWA. What are you done? <laughs> Who'd you ever beat, huh? Wow! King <laughs> says he's gonna sign at WWF. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, that's classic. <coughs> Oh, Brian Knobs finally left due to contract being up. Oh, good. Here we go, boys. It's an exciting day. All right, Eddie Carter the third. Okay. So that name's not going to work. Of course not. Oh, why aren't his alter egos in here? Come on, dude. Oh, he went with Pudalon. I saw that. Uh, uh short name, Budokan. <laughs> uh, Tony, are we doing two shows tonight? Yeah, we're doing two like, shows tonight. Yeah, we are. I do. It's always two shows every time I record, dude. <laughs> it's always two or better. Fish biscuit changing to EC3. <laughs> okay, and then uh, <laughs> we've got to get the appropriate Budokan picture here. No, that's the new Budokan. Yeah. Here we go. See, that's the Budokan who breaks people's shoulders. Did, you see this guy? That's an arm breaker right there. Okay, so obviously Budokan is a heel. What is Budokan's gimmick? Uh, we are not going to change Budokan's name. He is Budokan. You guys should show <laughs> some respect. Like, Come on, guys. Ah, come on, this is Budokan we're talking about. We're talking about Budokan here, boys. <laughs> 217 pound man. I think <laughs> now this is this is a good joke here because of what uh, Everton said uh, I think we should give him the big league star gimmick can he work that gimmick no I can't do they have a jobber gimmick I wish they did <laughs> Let's say that, um, hmm, this is hard. What would you say, Mike? Uh, let's see. What's the outsider? <laughs> Cut promos that he was in the AWA. Yeah. <laughs> or wait, the MV MVP. He thinks he's the MVP of the company. Oh, uh, there we go. Alright, where where's this push at? Where is he starting now? Okay, so Budokan. Uh Budokan's an a hard enhancement talent. <laughs> okay, if we're hiring this jobber then you gotta hire jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Not unless we have Sting. <laughs> Not unless we have Sting. Because the, if we have Sting, then I'll fucking name him Stang. Sting and Stang. S T A N G. Stang. Stanger! Alright, boys, let's send ahead to the show. We gotta debut Budokan. <laughs> his, push, his push should be a young boy. Oh, that's a different <laughs> Jeff Farmer? I didn't know there was more than one Jeff Farmer. I agree, Goofy. I agree with you. Budokan is a top draw. Uh, Budokan is hands down going to be the face of GSW someday when he's the new Budokan. <laughs> but to become the new Budokan, he first has to be the old Budokan, a.k.a. Budokan. That's right.
No way, dude. <laughs> no way. I we're still. Funk would quit on the spot. I, Budokan's gonna. We're gonna push Budokan, but he's gonna get. It's gonna be slow. He's gotta work his way up the card, man. We don't just give people. We don't hand opportunities like that unless they deserve it. If you're a lower mid card, you're there for a reason. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited, boys. Did you actually get Tommy Wiseau? Yeah, look, it's in chat. Nice. Yeah, the Tommy Wiseau emote got uh, approved. Wait, why the fuck is it trying to charge me twenty four ninety nine? Yeah, that's what it's for. Damn. The uh, the Tone Pepperoni ones for regular subscribers. Uh, the Scott Steiner one that's coming soon is for the nine ninety nine subscribers. That's like I guess a three month or something like that. And then the twenty four dollar I think is a yearly. Okay. That's and that's that's, that's where you get the Mark one. Oh, yeah, boys. Budokan time. Um, Terry Funk's passing on tips for psychology to Chris Candido. Passing on tips, <clears throat> working babyface to Perry Saturn. Passing on tips, working babyface to Gary Wolf, even though Gary Wolf is a heel. Okay. <laughs> Listen, kid, when you become a face and I retire... <laughs> I guarantee I'll get a subscription if you get a tuxedo emote. Dude, you know what it's like to get fucking... In order to get the tuxedo emote, I'd have to delete the ones I had that took two weeks to get through. So I'm probably not going to do that. That's I mean... F Flair would fuck the backstage. I mean, Fish, you should, you should just subscribe because, you know, I'm an emote. Don't you want to spam my face on other people's uh, videos? Also, make sure to hit that unfollow and refollow button so that it pops up on the screen. Can we not do that? <clears throat> Can we not? <laughs> All right, so let's get Budokan. Uh, Budokan, we're going to give him a strong debut. We're going to have him uh, win his match against uh, Sandman. Oh, you know, Budokan. So what do you think? His first match, five minutes... Five minutes, just see where he's at. Yeah. Budokan, pinfall, decisive win. And that'll be the main event tonight. That, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard pre-show. So is he coming in and taking the pre-show title on his first match? We don't even have a pre-show title, dude. So, is he debuting as the pre -show No! <laughs> um, <laughs> hour Iron Man match on the pre show. Hold on a second, I gotta look at the history here. Okay, so last episode we had Orn Anderson uh, beat Stone Cold for number one contender, and then Terry beat the shit out of Double A because he's in the middle of a heel turn. Let's have Terry Funk do a backstage segment. Taunting Arn Anderson. Nice. Okay, we got a couple questions in the chat. Is IRS available tonight? Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, can we give Callow a dubski? Can we give him a win? Uh... Yeah, sure. Okay. And maybe end the show with a six-man Hell in a Cell match. Six-man Hell in a Cell? I don't know about that, bud. 
We got a world title match. For something like that, I'd want that to be a world title match. Let's get uh, Terry Funk versus Arn Anderson going. I got an idea. There's going to be a, a 15 minute match that Terry's going to win. And we're going to do, we'll put the angle with um, Terry taunting on earlier in the night. And right before the match, we're going to have Arn Anderson get attacked backstage. I like that. I also like uh, <clears throat> Dalton's idea of a six-man Hell in a Cell on a scaffold that's on fire match. No. That's uh, that's something for a different show, brother. Our, our executives don't even want to let us do fucking high-risk matches that involve uh, like glass and chairs, dude. I could barely get them to let us do a ladder match. All right, so actually we're going to switch it around. We'll do uh, Double A gets beaten down by Terry Funk. And then Terry Funk comes down to the ring and says that Arn Anderson's not going to be able to make it. But then Arn Anderson, you know, obviously shows up. Okay, I like that. We'll do... Keep that on screen. Arn Anderson, you know, does show up. <sighs> IRS uh, cutting a promo telling everyone that something huge is coming in April. Uh, of course, hinting at his title match. I mean, it sounds like he would be hinting at uh, something else, you know, like paying your taxes. I don't know. That sounds like it sounds a lot like a title match to me. But we do need to get IRS in a match tonight. Uh, I'm thinking IRS versus Goldust. Be a good call. Oh, don't even say that, Dalton. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, me too, bro. Me too. You guys need to stop. Stop it. Uh, we're going to have IRS uh, cheat a little bit here. Oof. IRS doing the dirty. How's he going to cheat? What? He's a tax collector, man. Okay, so we need to do something. I want Stone Cold needs a win tonight. Yeah. Let's have him go up against one of our uh, lower guys. Chris Jericho. Nice. Do a little Austin versus Jericho action. That's smart. This is going to be a win for Stone Cold, but we're going to make this try to be an open match. We're going to have Chris Jericho looking, uh, looking decent. Nice. Nice. So Fish Biscuit believes that IRS should uh, hold us hostage for a... That's actually a pretty funny idea. He's like, listen, uh, I see in my record too that you haven't paid your taxes. Uh, now I can report these records or, you know, I can get that can, title match. Yeah, or I can get a title match. That's that's actually a really good use of the character. I like that. I, I, I really do like that, yeah. You know what's making me laugh right now? I know somewhere Miller's watching this. Well, he's probably at work, and he's just like, no. Not Budokan, no. <laughs> I like that. Never cheat your taxes. Always cheat your matches. All right. Um, Super Calo. Super Calo won. Got a request for a Super Calo win. All right. What you boys thinking here? Who are we putting Super Calo over? Take a look at the list, boys. Oh, uh, so we just changed uh, Marcus Bagwell's name to Bagwell? Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, he's going to job to Super Calo. What, Bagwell? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Fish Biscuit says, have Super Calo beat Shockmaster. See, but eventually I want a main event feud between Shockmaster and Budokan. That does sound like... That is the dream right there. You mean Shockmaster versus the new Budokan, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Sorry. Had me confused there. Well, again, he has to be Budokan before he can be the new Budokan. Okay, Super Calo versus Bagwell... Shirt ideas. It's going to be a long time before uh, Tone Pepperone has t-shirts for sale, brother. <coughs> you fucking guys make me laugh. Um... Candido. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I just remembered something, Mike. I gotta, I gotta show you. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's too good, dude. This was, this was directly inspired by you, Mike. Oh, I'm excited. Oh yeah. Oh no, you're gonna like this. Um. So we give that to Candido. Okay, Mike, you ready for this? Oh, I'm, I'm ready, dude. Okay, so we have a new team in GSW uh, called Flock of Guidos. <laughs> uh, and their finisher is the Chicken Parm. Oh, <laughs> not the Chicken Parm. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the the like name that. Chicken Parm Finisher was inspired by Lieutenant Chubb, a lover of the Chicken Parm. I do love a nice Chicken Parm. I love how everyone's lobbying for a job in GSW. I don't know, man. Jesse Ventura, he's uh, he's not looking to hire people. Except for Budokan. Except for Budokan, exactly. I don't know if any of you guys are at the Budokan level, I'm sorry to say. Uh, I'm thinking we give this to Mick Foley or Franchise? Uh, give it to Franchise. Good call. <laughs> Dog, I need this job. I got kids. If only we were uh, a few more years in the future and we could hire Heath Slater, boys. Oh, believe me, when the time comes and we catch up to that time, because we're definitely going to get into the 2000s in this game, without a doubt. We're hiring Heath Slater. Easily. Easily. Yeah, dude, when we get into the 2000s, we're hiring fucking Heath Slater, Kenny Omega... Um, definitely, uh, Brian Danielson. Uh, good old Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin. <laughs> you know what? As much as I've always said about Michael Elgin, his match the other night at the fucking G1 USA with Kenny Omega was ridiculously good. Yeah, it was. It was really, really good. Okay. Let's get Glacier in a match. That cheeseburger. <laughs> We're doing uh, Glacier versus Double J. I'm sorry. J E double F J A double R E double T. Yeah, I have a spelling for that, by the way. I, I don't think it'll fit. Yeah, so. Um... We're, we're going to put uh, Glacier over once and for all. on Je You know what? Wait a minute. We're doing a... Uh, There's going to be a no DQ match. There's going to be... There's going to be guitar breaks, boys. Dang. Guitar breaks? Yeah, we're doing guitar breaks, boys. But uh, unfortunately, Jeff Jarrett still loses. Even though he breaks, uh, you know... 30 guitars, he still doesn't draw a dime. Yeah, no. <laughs> oops. Uh, oops. 
J-E-F-F-J-A-R-R-E. All right, so my idea is I'm going to start this company called uh, TNA. And then uh, I'm going to book myself as the champion. But, uh, Jeff, don't you think that's a bad idea considering you own the company? No, nah, I think it's a great idea because, you know, uh, my guitar breaking is at the level of Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. Uh, I am a proven draw. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not protected, Jeff Jarrett. <coughs> no, nah, I'm not going to put Ray on the opener. I'll put Ray somewhere on the card. All right, boys. Chat. Let me know. I want to know from you guys who we're we putting Ray up against tonight. Let's go, boys. Disco Glenn, Finley, both good choices. Versus Ray. Taz. Taz. Dude, taking a global takes a real long time. I mean, look at how many episodes I'm in. I'm on. This is, uh, oh shit, boys. This is episode 60. Damn. We're on fucking the big 6-0, man. 60 episodes in, and we're uh, not even a cult. So, we're going to be doing this shit for a long time. I mean, you know, Fish Biscuit, sometimes you just need to book yourself as the champion a bunch of times. I am a proven draw. Let's go, um... Just ask the bullet clip. <laughs> nine more episodes for the dream. Episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 69 is when Budokan wins the title. Uh, so no, we're not going to be able to do that. I forgot Disco Glenn is injured, so we'll go with the uh, we'll go with Finley. Finley and Ray should be a fucking awesome match. There you go. We're gonna give them a fifteen minute steal the show match. You know what I got to say to that fish biscuit? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we are going to have is uh, we're having, um, where is it? Since Disco can't wrestle, but he could be in angles. Uh, you know, we're doing part two of Disco Glenn versus Flash Funk to dance off. What? Uh, we're going to have Jess Ventura be the judge. Dude, I'm, I'm always writing, uh... A plus TV. You kidding me? You fucking kidding me? Uh, yeah. Budokan topples Monster Heel Terry Funk for the title. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna start the show with the second dance off. All right, kid, I'm retiring now. Uh, Terry, you said that the last five times, but this time I mean it. Let's do RVD versus Bubba on the pre-show. And we're, we're saucing that win over to RVD. And uh, uh, whatever, whoever said it earlier, I agree. Uh, Buddha Khan definitely needs a promo tonight. Who do we have Budokan wrestling? Sandman? Uh, yeah. 
Give him a two minute segment. All right, boys, let's run the show. Chubb, you ready for this? The debut of Budokan? Oh, I've been ready. I need to, I think, uh, Fish Biscuit, I'm going to need you to join me in this. It's time to uh, light up. And uh, that is a uh, dark count. Uh, let's get the dark counter. All right, boys. Budokan time. Okay, so segment one, we've got Budokan, the fresh debut in Budokan, the MVP. Uh, he gives an interview taunting the Sandman. Uh, average, he improvised well but only got a 17. <laughs> All right, so we're off to an excellent... So Budokan turned out exactly the way I thought he would, which is good. <laughs> so up next we have uh, Budokan beating Sandman in a terrible pre-show match in 521. Uh, Budok Budokan only has five less points than Sandman. <laughs> Budokan had a 29, Sandman had a 34. Oh yeah, dude, Budokan's a star in the making, boys. Yeah. Budokan's getting pushed to the moon. So then, our second pre-show match, we've got Bubba versus Rob Van Dam. Decent wrestling and little heat. RVD beats Bubba in 439 by pinfall to split-legged moonsault. Um, they have great chemistry. Bubba got a 44, and RVD had a 62. Bubba's pulling good numbers. He's pulling mid-card numbers already. we got to get him out of enhancement. Uh, Fish Biscuit. Uh, the real Budokan is just debuting. You gotta, you gotta give him time to, you know. Hey. He's gotta get, he's gotta get used to our ring, dude. We gotta, we got weird ropes. Yeah, like he's, a, he's in a new surrounding. Uh, you know, he's, got, he's gotta get used to that, dude. You know, I'm, I'm real cheap, so we don't have good ropes. We've kind of got those, you know, rope ropes. Like yeah. it's just rope. Like, you know those WCW ropes where they just wrapped elevator cables in rubber? Up next, uh, we've got Disco Glenn coming out and challenging Flash Funk uh, to another dance-off because he claims that Flash Funk cheated last time. Uh, Flash Funk comes out, they have the dance-off, and unfortunately, Disco Glenn loses again. Okay, so uh, Flash Funk was awful. Uh, Terry Reynolds helped Disco Glenn. Disco Glenn was very poor. Uh, Jesse Ventura was like the star of the segment. He came out of this looking excellent. <laughs> Jesse Ventura sold the thing better than they did. Mm -hmm. So now up next we've got Super Calo versus Bagwell. Uh, in a decent wrestling but not much heat match, we have Super Calo beating Bagwell 941 by pinfall to top rope rolling head scissors. Calo's back down into the 50s. And anytime this guy wins, he can't pull over a 60. He can only sell. He's another glacier. Bagwell had a 36, and they don't click. Oh, it could be because they don't click. That could be yeah. the that could explain the number being down. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame that. I'm gonna blame it on Marcus. Uh, are you kidding me? Of course he dances better than me. It's Disco Glenn. He's a fucking legend. Flash Funk's a cheater, dude. Yeah, he is. So next up, we've got Candido versus Shockmaster versus Norman Smiley. In a decent match, Candido beats Shockmaster and Norman Smiley in 10 minutes and 8 seconds. When Candido beats Shockmaster by pinfall at the Blonde Bombshell. Shockmaster was the weak link. Uh, Chris Candido had a 58. Shockmaster had a 39. And Smiley had a 50. Can we change uh, Chris Candido's finisher to the uh, Sunny D? <laughs> the Sunny Days? Yeah. Up next, we've got Stone Cold versus Chris Jericho. Great wrestling and decent reaction. Stone Cold beats Chris Jericho in 839 by pinfall to Fez Press. Just beats Jericho into the ground. All right, kid, I'm going over. Uh, Mr. Austin, we still have a few more minutes. I said I'm going over! And then punches him in the forehead a bunch of times. Uh, Stone Cold got an 88. Jericho had a 43. His numbers are coming up. 
Then we have Glacier versus Jeff Jarrett in a no DQ match. Uh, regardless of all the guitar breaks in the world, uh, Glacier still beats Jeff Jarrett in 1425 by pinfall to cryonic kick. Uh, he actually cryonic kicked uh, his foot through the guitar into Jeff Jarrett's face. It was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Glacier had a 57. Jeff Jarrett had a 48. Uh, Lou Albano did great work at ringside. No more plumbing toilets, kid! Glacier's on the path to success, boys. Up next, we've got Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Dave Finley. Good wrestling and decent reaction. Rey Mysterio beats Dave Finley in 15 minutes and 7 seconds by pinfall to springboard Hurricane Rana. Rey Mysterio had a 75 and Dave Finley had a 53. Dave Finley's improving flying skills. Then we have Mick Foley versus the franchise. Uh, great wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Franchise beats Mick Foley in 1948 by pinfall with a pile driver. Mick Foley had a 63. Franchise had a 73. There we go. Nice. The franchise is back, boys. The French ice. How the French it? ice, dude. Next, uh, we have IRS versus Gold Dust. Uh, good wrestling, decent reaction. IRS beats Gold Dust in 2450 by pinfall using the ropes for leverage. Uh, IRS had a 61, Goldust had a 69. Percy Pringle did good work at ringside. Uh, then we have Terry Funk beating down Arn Anderson backstage right before the match. Now that's not very nice. I think we could do, we could push one more segment. All right, so then. Uh, we have Terry Funk coming out to the ring saying that, you know, unfortunately Arn Anderson's not going to make it, you know. He knows that all these people came out here to watch him since he is the greatest wrestler of all time. But, but uh, retirement. unfortunately, uh, since there are no other competitors uh, to face him, he's going to have to retire. Uh, but then Arn Anderson comes out and says, you're not fucking doing nothing. I'm still here and uh, you, ha you haven't faced me. Um, you're not retiring yet. Okay, so Terry Funk's turn was a complete success, so now Terry's officially a heel. And then we have Terry Funk versus Arn Anderson. An exceptional match. Terry Funk beats Arn Anderson in 1438 by pinfall with a pile driver. I'm guessing, of course, you know, Arn got fucked up before the match. He's not at 100%. Uh, Terry Funk makes defense number eight of his GSW World Championship title. Eight defenses, boys. Funk is unstoppable. <laughs> you smell what the cock is cooking? <laughs> no, what the, what the cock is fucking. No, you smell what the cock is cooking, dude. Uh, Terry Funk fucking? got an 80, <laughs> Terry Funk had an 88. Um, Arn Anderson got an 82. Terry Funk is not suited to his gimmick. Show increased our popularity in one region. Terry Funk did a good job. We're going to tell both of them they're awesome. They did a good job. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna give IRS a hug because he's enforcing that people pay their taxes. And that's always a good thing. Uh, mm. Do you smell what the cock is marinating? That's... Oh. I don't know why, but when you said that, I just heard from, uh, what was that movie? You got some stink dick? <laughs> the interview. Oh, yeah, the interview. Got that stink dick. Uh, we finished first at a third in the Great Lakes, and we got a point oh two. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, Goofy. Auto, oh, auto mod. Yeah, auto mod kind of took. Uh, he kind of took. It's control. it's fine if auto mod rejects anything, we just accept it anyway. Exactly. That's a good way for if anyone acts fucking stupid, you know, it's already not in the chat. Yeah, I get to give him the, give him the old slap. Give him the old bopperino. Mm-hmm. So let's do an auto push here. I want to see uh, where Budokan winds up. Oh, still an enhancement talent. Never mind. Uh, yes, oh shit! I press. Retype that. Nope, I, I allowed it. Okay. I thought I fucking denied it for a second. Nope, nope. Just uh, just leave that to me, Tony. I got you. Goofy, I thought that's what you did anyway. 
I mean, why else was that guy trying to hook up with you the other day, man? I thought that's because that's the business you're in. Yeah, dude, he was giving you his address and everything like that. So. Yeah, he was like, yo, hit me up. I want to be in your movie. So how's Art Bar doing anyway? Oh, you know. He's Art. <laughs> how's he doing? More like, what's he doing? Uh, he's That's not working. He's not working for us. Uh, we're up to a forty-seven. Still, let's. Uh, I'm afraid to look. Oh, zero. Oh. No. No. That's, that's good. That's good. You know. Oh. It's a zero, boys. Man, the economy's falling now, too. Man, that is unfortunate. Man, ever right. since uh, ever since this last patch, uh, there was a new patch for TW just came out like three days ago, one point forty nine. Fucking games just running weird, just running like slower than average. Weird. What do you got in the emails? Oh, our broadcasting deals up in a month. Can we get a new broadcaster yet? Big money, big. Mm. All right, let's go to. Let's see if we can get on to, like, late evening or something. Because I think we're on early evening. Nah, we'll just stay on early evening. That's true. It can only increase unless, you know, it goes to three and then starts falling again. Let's not say that. Let's just hope that doesn't see, happen. But Technically speaking, that's an increase because it went up to three. But it, if it falls again, you know what I'm saying. I I know what you're saying. I'm just I'm just pointing out that you know if it increases to three, you know, that's that's an increase. <laughs> or glitches into the negative. Oh man, that would suck, dude. Uh, Dean Malenko is finally gone. And uh, Psychosis only has a month left. So we're going to... I want to keep Psychosis. Definitely want to keep Psychosis around. <laughs> you have officially killed wrestling, Tony. How do you feel? Uh, I'm saving wrestling. I'm not sure what uh, the bigger companies like WCW and WWF are doing, but uh, I know that they're we're here. We're here fighting for the wrestling fan. Okay, yeah, he definitely wants six hundred. Oh, no, Violent J's in the database. Hell yeah. All right, it's time, buddy. Oh, no. I don't think it's time. No, you're looking at your next... I don't think it's time. You are looking at one half of the next GSW Tag Team Champion. If Miller was here, dude, he'd agree with me right now. It's not time. See, but Miller's not here. And uh, so that means it's not Miller time. It's, you know, clown time. Oh, bad. All right. Let me uh, refresh the contract on Booker T. We're going to give Booker T a five-year deal. I want to keep Booker T around for a while. I like Booker T. We come with you. Well, yeah, let's not finish that. No, of course. Let's not. Let's not. Well, 800 bucks. Uh, that's Booker T, dude. All right. Before we start this next card, boys, just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Uh, feel free to keep bullshitting with Chubb. Yeah, I'm still going to be here. You can't see me, but 
Yeah, you know. I'll just give me one second, boys. I'll be right back. Dalton, you should actually watch that uh, Budokan and Shawn Michaels match. It's a technical masterpiece. Oh, you know what, Goofy? I'm pretty sure I heard him say that exact quote. I think it went like, I knew since the day one when I arrived at GSW that it would destroy the wrestling business because Yankees can't fucking book a show. Now, don't get me started on fucking Vince McMahon and the fucking uh, territories because that fucked up. Uh, I'm not a liar, thank you. Uh, I resent that. Uh why would i steer you wrong dalton that match is a technical master okay i would not lie to you i would not lie i'm the guy pushing behind the scenes for a budokan push <laughs> good good i'm glad that you're watching it and you'll see as well that I'm right. Budokan and Shawn Michaels put on a classic. Goofy, I you are right. I am a styling, profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, willing and dealing. But you're incorrect because I am not a fibber and fibbers are not allowed in the chat. We don't tell fibs around here. No fibs. You read the rules. You read the rules. There's no fibs. I read the rules. There's no fibs. Tony, I think, maybe read the rules. He tends to fib a lot. He thinks we're not going to rehire Frank or anything like that but you know that's gonna happen <laughs> well halfway through the match is when it really gets exciting right <laughs> I'm back, boys. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so how do you how does the chat feel about insane clown? Nah, dude. Glenn's camera shy. Hey, good job, Ray. Wait, they had two separate video game tournaments? Yep. <laughs> Alright, kids, how you work the microphone? You just tell them, listen, I'm gonna retire. This is my last match. <laughs> hey, you gotta give Dalton a minute, dude. He's watching Budokan versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, let's, uh, let's clear the air. Kendo was irritated, Psychosis was irritated, Dave Finley was irritated, IRS was irritated, Jeff Jarrett was irritated. Okay. So Bada boom. As, <laughs> so as per Goofy, we want Violent J. He could bomb a few live segments by banging on the door while someone's airing a segment. <laughs> um... 
Can you be irritated, Dalton? You're watching a master classic match between Shawn Michaels and the everlasting Budokan. I think uh, Budokan in a second match is going to lose, but we're going to put him up against a main eventer to get him some experience. Hell yeah. Uh, um, feed him to Goldie. Feed him to Gold Dust? Yeah. I'd say Hawk since he has minor positive momentum. Uh, I guess so. Or Super Callow. Okay, we'll let the chat decide. Hawk or Super Callow? Boys, who are we going to have Budokan lose to tonight? Also, uh, question. Um, what's with this 50-50 booking bullshit on Budokan? <laughs> Uh, we want to get his number up before I start putting him out. Our only lower mid... Look who we have in lower mid card his faces. Jerry Lynn. Rob Van Dam. I mean, he could lose to Cliff. He. No, no. I want him losing to... <laughs> okay, so we got two votes for Hawk. Uh, Skater Boy in the match and Duty Bridges Hawk. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We'll have Hawk. Uh, it's gonna be an open match though. We're gonna make Budokan look strong. We're gonna we're gonna keep Budokan strong. <laughs> I like that. You know, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, we're also going to protect Budokan. <laughs> I like that. I like that. We'll open the show up with that. Put Budokan over big time. <laughs> yeah. Dalton says uh, put it as the technical master class. I think... Um... I think we're going to do Booker T versus Owen Hart. That'd be a good match. Do a uh, good national championship match here. Nice. We're gonna have Owen Hart win, but it's gonna be it's another open match. All right, so tonight we're gonna have uh, IRS versus Terry Funk the rematch. Or actually, no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's not what we're gonna do. We're going to have Terry Funk. We're going to have them on opposite sides. Let's keep them apart for another for another show. Mike, you want to do a 5v5? Yeah, we can do a 5v5. This is going to be a 5v5 elimination match. Gaffle. Go we can't do scaffold class. matches. Yeah, I know the TV won't. Um, okay. So, face-wise... Let's throw Arn Anderson over here. Brian Pillman. Super Calo. The face side's winning, so... Good call. And, uh... Yeah, uh... Rey Mysterio, yeah. Versus IRS. Lanny Poffo. Mick Foley. Stone Cold. Terry Funk. So who's getting the win on this one, then? Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson. I like it. Uh, I also like Dalton's idea of uh, Midnight Mike versus Ultraman Jr. We could do that. Yeah. I like that as an idea. It's going to be a decisive win. It's going to be an open match, but it's going to be a decisive win. Midnight Mike versus Ultraman. I'm not being pussy whipped by the TV network, dude. They make the rules. I can't break them. They won't let me. They literally won't let me. Oh, you know what? That was that was the old Terry Funk. This is the new Terry Funk. Yeah. Uh, the new Terry Funk only retires four times instead of five. That's right.
Terry Funk's a heel now, boy. I'm thinking we give this to Midnight Mike. Nah, I'm lying. Let's go on Ultraman. We need that. We're getting uh, that Ultraman push going, boys. Now, I don't want to sewer Midnight Mike, so we'll do a flash pinfall. Yeah. Midnight Mike with a flash <laughs> a zero hour out of nowhere. Okay, now I need to get... We're going to get the tag team champs in a match tonight. We're doing... um. We're going to do Showtime versus Fatality. And uh, we're still going to have... We're going to have Fatality hold on to the belts. It's going to be a tainted-ass win. I like that. And I want to get another tag team match in here tonight because we need to. Uh... <laughs> 46 minutes. We need to start building sanitation back up. Actually, you know what? Let's let's get Biff and Cliff in a win tonight. Let's do Biff and Cliff versus Flock of Guidos. Hell yeah, Flock of Guidos. I gotta get my boy Biff in there, dude. Uh, I think we need an Oz match tonight. I'm thinking uh, Oz versus Jeff Jarrett. Uh, go 11 minutes. Oz is gonna beat Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett could stop crying. Thank you, Dalton. Throw that on storytelling. Almost forgot. Uh, Dalton's right, yeah. Um, we got to get Lance Storm in a match. Let's do Lance Storm versus DDP. Good call. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have DDP win this time, because the last two times Lance Storm's gone over. We're gonna have DDP win this time. Let's get Chris Jericho on the card. Let's have Jericho versus Disco Glenn again. Oh, Disco Glenn's still injured. God damn it. Okay, uh, then Chris Jericho is going to wrestle... Psychosis. Psychosis, yeah. Man, no, Psychosis needs a win. He's got negative momentum. Mm, that's true. Let's go Chris Jericho versus Brian Christopher. He's going to beat... We're going to have him beat Brian Christopher by submission. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get over it, Brian. Actually, you know what? Jericho. Jericho could take a loss. He's he's won his last few matches. Yeah, that's fair. And Brian Christopher was pulling pretty decent numbers. Oh, what's going on, Sin? Hey, what's up, Sin? Despite some questionable enhancing talents, GSW has the greatest roster in wrestling today. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Psychosis versus... Nah, not Super Ken, though. Let's, let's use Sandman. Hey, thanks for the bet, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, Psychosis has got to win this. Pinfall.
All right. Bro, and I'll tell you why, bro, that GSW is the best thing ever, bro. I appreciate the question, bro, because here's why I appreciate the question, bro, because it is honest and straightforward, and that's what we're looking for here, bro. So we're going to have... Uh, Dalton gave me a good idea. Since they did just come off a heated rivalry, uh, we're going to have Terry Funk and Stone Cold backstage before their match. And uh, Stone Cold's like, listen, old man. You better, you better win us. We're going to win this match tonight. You better not fucking get in my way. Just let me carry this shit. And Terry Funk's like, uh, didn't I just whip your ass, Junior? Stone Cold's like, you didn't whip my ass. I had a, I had a flu that day. I wasn't feeling well. I could easily have ended your career. Terry Funk's just like, don't worry about that. Let's just win this match. Yeah, let's just win this match. Because we all know that I could bury you if I wanted to. I will bury you. Dude, I am not hiring Russo. I don't have any... This isn't a Russo product, brother. Which reminds me, we need to get Glacier on the card. Do I have Glacier on the card already? No, I don't. Um, We're going to do Glacier versus Candido. I'm going to have Glacier win this one, though. Gla Glacier's, uh, he's on his way back up to the top, boys. Nice. And uh, we're going to have a good... A good Lou Albano and Glacier segment here. <laughs> Fug taps Austin's butt with his cane. Uh, let's just put that as success. Off screen. That's just basically just going to be the old uh, Lou Albano is going to be backstage with Glacier and he's like, I haven't had to clean toilets in weeks, kid. Keep winning. Okay. I think uh, I think we're good to go here. Yeah, let's run this shit. Hell yeah. All right, so first up, we've got Psychosis versus Sandman. An extremely short pre-show match, Psychosis beat Sandman in 450 by pinfall to guillotine leg drop. Psychosis had a 48, and Sandman had a 30. Nice. Then we have Chris Jericho versus Brian Christopher. Uh, decent wrestling, not much heat. Brian Christopher beats Chris Jericho in 849 by pinfall to Tennessee Jam. Jericho had a 51, and Christopher had a 50. They're both pretty even. Then we got Biff and Cliff versus Flock of Guidos. In a shroomly short match, Biff and Cliff beat Flock of Guidos in 522 when Biff beats Raven by submission with the Boston Crab. Biff was the weak link. Cliff had a 47, Biff had a 36, Guido had a 48, Raven had a 57. Biff nice. was off his game. So we've got Budokan versus Hawk. <laughs> Good wrestling and decent reaction. Hawk beats Budokan in 10 minutes and 1 second by pinfall to flying fish drop. Uh, Budokan pulled a 34. Uh, he has improved. Uh, the great performance of Hawk really stood out. Hawk had an 86. Yeah, Hawk did really well, but I mean, look at Budokan, dude. So next we've got Oz versus Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Oz beats Jeff Jarrett in 1047 by pinfall to Jack Knight powerbomb. Oz had a 48 and Jarrett had a 50, so again, they're pretty, they're pretty close. Uh, who's Jeff Jarrett? Oh, I'm sorry. J E W -F, F J A W -R, R E double T. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Up next, we've got Lou Albano and Glacier, and Lou Albano's thanking Glacier for uh, winning because he hasn't had to clean toilets in weeks, and he wants him to keep winning. And he's got a match tonight against Candido. Nice. Um, Lou was great on the mic. Uh, Glacier was awful. Uh, Lou Albano looked excellent. Glacier was very underwhelming. So then we have Glacier versus Chris Candido in a decent match. Glacier beats Chris Candido 937 by pinfall to cry on a kick. Glacier had a 60. Chris Candido had a 53. 
Wow, Glacier actually pulled a 60 without losing. I'm in shock. Listen. Khan is so old. He may be old, but it's... It's like it's like an old wine, dude. He gets better with age. Absolutely. You could say that he's currently the old Budokan. Currently. But he's about to be the new one soon. And then we've got Landstorm versus DDP. Uh, great wrestling and decent reaction. DDP beats Landstorm in 15-19 by pinfall with a diamond cutter. Landstorm had a 74 and DDP pulled a 62. DDP's improving his performance. DDP is slowly getting there. Then we have Showtime versus Fatality. Good wrestling and decent reaction. Fatality beats Showtime in 1446 when Steve Blackman beats Flash Funk by pinfall at a handful of tights. Fatality makes defense number four of the GSW Tag Team Championship titles. Norman Smiley was the weak link. Uh, Norman had a 52. Flash had a 74. Damn. Steve Blackman had a 63 and Taz had a 65. Taz improving his flying. Norman Smiley needs to pick the game up a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's why we got them in a tag team, you know? That's fair. Then we have Midnight Mike versus Ultraman Jr. Good wrestling and decent reaction. Ultraman beats Midnight Mike in 15 minutes and 6 seconds by pinfall to quick roll-up. Midnight Mike had a performance of 64 and Ultraman had a 57. Ultraman's improving his rumble skill. Uh, never. He will never not be DDP. So then we have Booker T versus Owen Hart. Good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Owen Hart beats Booker T in 1439 by pinfall. Owen Hart makes defense number four of the GSW National Championship title. I like how they don't have, uh, like, they don't click, and yet they can still put on a B-. minus. Yeah. It's fucking Owen Hart, dude. Owen can carry anyone. But can he put over Budokan? Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe when the time is right. So then up next, we have Terry Funk and Stone Cold backstage before their big five-on-five -five match. And you know, Terry Funk has recently to the, uh, has just turned over to the heel side of things. So you got Stone Cold coming up to him backstage and he's like, listen, I don't care if you're the champion or not. Uh, I personally don't like you. I don't want you on my team. And uh, if I had it my way, I'd be kicking your ass. But uh, you better not, you better, you better uh, win this match for us tonight. You better not give me no shit because you give me any shit, Terry. I'm going to punch your teeth down your throat. The old punch your teeth down your throat line. And then Terry Funk is like, listen, kid. He's like, if I wanted to end your career, I could have. But I didn't. And he's like, you ain't got to worry about me. I'm the champion. You just carry your own weight. Stone Cold does, doesn't like that too much. Uh, Terry clearly enjoyed the freedom to go off script. Uh, it's because all your writing involves scaffold matches that we can't pull. Uh, Stone Cold did a masterful job. And we got to look into changing Terry's gimmick soon. Uh, then we've got Arn Anderson, Brian Pillman, Super Callow, Goldust, and Rey Mysterio teaming up to take on IRS, Lanny Poffo, Mick Foley, Stone Cold, and Terry Funk. Superb wrestling good heat. Arn Anderson, Brian Pillman, Super Callow, Goldust, and Rey Mysterio beat IRS, Lanny Poffo, Mick Foley, Stone Cold, and Terry Funk in 21-25. When Super Cala was eliminated first, then Brian Pillman, then Rey Mysterio, then Lanny Poffo, then Goldust, then Mick Foley, then IRS, then Stone Cold, and finally Terry Funk was last. Uh, Lanny Poffo's gimmick's getting stale. Terry's not suited for his gimmick, we know that. Ray had a 74, Goldust had a 67, Callow had a 54, Pillman had a 73, Arn had an 85, Terry Funk had a 90. Stone Cold had an 86, Mick Foley had a 60, and uh, Lanny Poffo had a 61. And IRS had a 63. Mick Foley's improving his rumble skill. Yeah, dude. It's true, Goofy. It's true. I feel you, bro. Uh, Goofy's fibbing. It's against the chat rules. I don't think he's fibbing. Uh, Goofy, I'm going to need you to stop fibbing, bud. I'm going to need you to stop breaking the chat rules with all those fibs. Uh, so who's getting a hug today? Uh, we're gonna tell Ar Arn Anderson good job, Terry Funk good job. And, uh, are you gonna give Budokan a hug? And we're gonna tell Budokan, you know, keep it up. We're gonna give him some encouragement. 
Uh, we're going to tell Terry he's awesome and Arn Anderson, uh, you know, praise for a great performance. Listen, Goofy, the numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. They now, Bud Budokan is in. He's not getting hugs yet. For now, we'll just be like, hey, Budokan, good job. Good job, Budokan. Ah! Uh, thanks for the bits, and appreciate it, brother. The only way for uh, pop ups only pop up at uh, 50 or better. 50 bits or better, at least 50 cents. Yeah, Streamlabs isn't on anymore, Sin. It's got to be 50 cent and up because I don't need people getting like a bit or two and just spamming it. So it's got to be 50 and up. Kind of love the spams, though. Uh, so what did we do in the TV rating? Uh, we got a .04. Damn, we doubled our numbers this week. Nice. And Chris Good Jericho's going to be a star. Sure. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, it's so good. It's so... I so think I posted good. it on Twitter a few weeks ago. Still waiting on that uh, contract negotiation. Let's bring it... Let's try to get Paul Ellering if we can, boys. We need, we need some new managers. The numbers don't lie. They spell disaster for you. At sacrifice. Paul Ellering wants seventeen forty. We'll bring in Paul Ellering on a one on a two year. We'll give him a two year. We'll see if we can get him. We'll see. Not we really don't have that many managers. We have uh, Terry Reynolds, Lou Albano, and James Mitchell. We hardly have any. This would only be our fourth manager or third manager. It's not. All right, boys. I think that's, uh, we're going to call the stream here. Uh, if you're watching us tonight on Twitch, don't forget to hit that follow button, boys. If you're not following us, make sure you follow us. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like the video. Definitely give us that thumbs up. Uh, comment. I want to hear your comments. Subscribe and share the video. Share it around, any wrestling fans, anyone you know, man. Get more people in here. Share the video mm -hmm. around. If you guys are on Reddit, throw it on Reddit, man. Throw it on Reddit somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You're on Facebook, throw it on Facebook. Throw it on fucking Twitter. Throw it wherever you can. Uh, and also, a uh, longtime boy here, Lieutenant Chubb, uh, has hey. his own YouTube channel now. Also had his own, also has his own uh, Twitch channel going. So um, definitely make sure you check out Lieutenant Chubb's YouTube. And make sure you check out Lieutenant Chubb's Twitch. Mm -hmm. Good stuff watch there, me, boys. Watch me get drunk and do things on stream, like playing video games. Exactly. All right, boys. Y'all have a good night, and I'll uh, catch you on the next stream. Schedule Later, should boys. be up this Sunday. Later, boys.